Hello, everybody. Tyler here. I'm playing a game called Inwall, where I exist inside of your walls. Observe. I am this pair of disembodied eyeballs, and I live inside of your wall. It's perfect. I must solve puzzles using this. Great, I can possess dudes as well that can move around. He's just kind of lying there looking pretty ugly or asleep or both. Now I wake him up, he actually looks friendly. I would let him crawl inside my walls. Uh, just to check, I cannot enter the red wall. Only the green wall, so I will enter. They have buttons to push. Okay, push this and... No, okay, I must stay on the button. Mm, but let me get to this other guy. These blobs are different shapes. The wall accepts all. Okay, the blue block can be possessed. It can be entered, if you will. So what I think I wanted to do is push the button because it looks like I can actually enter through the bottom. Yeah, solve the puzzles, escape through the walls. I have three dudes. Gotta get through two whole doors. What's well, simple, you just shift possession again and again. These guys won't know what hit them. And leave one on the button. And then bring the other guy up. And then kind of do a three-way switcheroo so I could get him down to here. Now, I could possess this guy. And yes, okay, the wall stays down when you possess him. So I could just get through like that, escape through the wall. Z to undo. It's a very tight area. Right, is, is this not that bad? Well, I can get through to here, which gets me absolutely stuck. So let me practice that undoing. And maybe go around like this. So I have to have the button pressed. All right, hear me out. Do a cool reset. That's a funny way to reset. Have you possessed here? Have you possessed here? And then possess up here. So now I can push the button, possess this, and then run on through out the walls to a bigger area. There's now a yellow slime buddy and a yellow wall. Hold on, can I possess this? No, I bet I need the yellow guy to do so. I also need the wall to be up. Otherwise, I can't escape, so I guess I'll do a nice little thing of possession. Well, I figure I can push the button, get on the wall, possess here, and then keep getting on through just to get the green guy on the button, pass the eyeballs to the yellow guy, keep possessing more walls. Multiple green guys, one yellow guy. Okay, hear me out though. What if like at the end you possess a red guy and you have access to all the walls? For now though, the crux of the problem seems to be getting through the bottom. Yeah, there's a thing that pops up there. So I have to have a green guy on the button while yellow guy carries the eyes to these walls. Also, I assume yellow guy isn't a more powerful green guy, he's just a different colored one. He doesn't have the power to transpose the eyes to the green walls. Characters must only look at walls that resemble their own skin. Imagine having the walls of the room you're in be only the same color as your own skin. Wouldn't that just be terrifying? So frankly, I've got to get this yellow guy out of here. He's not pushing the button. I suppose one thing I could do is stand here, get the eyeballs to the green guy, and then do a kind of green guy chain to get the eyeballs over here. Not saying that's good, but it's interesting. Well, then I can do a fun little shuffle around to get everybody to where I need to be. And then you can come on over, push the button, bring the eyes down and get me out of here. Moving on, what's with that to my right? A very small room of which no one can enter? Where am I even meant to go? To the right? Or sorry, to the left? I mean, I could make you go. But then the eyeballs are trapped over here and I do not like that very much. I suppose I could bring this guy over and then eyeball the green, and then eyeball you. If I'm standing here, then I can eyeball the green again, and then I can eyeball the yellow, and now I've done a big old turnaround, getting me the hell out of here. What's with the triangles? There's a red button. Hold up. Oh, color shifting? It changes between blue and red, huh? So blue is accessible, red is not, and what on earth is this wraparound? Okay, so I, I gotta exit through the top left. Noted. Well, I guess I can go like this. This kind of solved itself, but hey, a win is a win. More color changing. All right, the bottom right guy definitely looks like he's twerking. Hmm. Gotta enter the top left again. 
What, how, I guess everything with a triangle changes colors. So I've got to be on this button, that's for sure. Also got to go here, go on the button. Hold on, can I stand you here? No, that's bad. That just traps me entirely. Don't do that. Oh, I need to get to the yellow man in the bottom right. There we go. Press the buttons. Yes. Eat the bugs. Now I can go through. Change the colors. Why would I do it this way when I should be doing it the other way? Yeah, stand on here. Walk on through. Oh, and this just wins. Perfect. I think there's a couple red herrings in there. And a lot of red walls. Right away I can press this and get out of here, but not immediately so. Gotta have somebody ready. I've got to exit through the top with a yellow? Wait, what? Isn't that really easy? I'm confused. Why is there a puzzle here? Oh. Oh, no. Are you telling me then? In fact, I do have to not only be holding this button down, but also have pressed the triangle button. Okay. I understand. Well, let me start by rescuing this poor chap. There we go. Here's the thing, a green guy needs to be on the button. Now, that might not seem like it's that difficult, but you might have been noticing whenever I pass between a yellow and a green, they always kind of skip a tile. They skip a tile when they move. I guess when I have two greens, it doesn't matter. So actually, hold that thought, we're chilling. I held the button down, but now there is a problem with the yellow guy because I need to have the yellow guy at the receiving end of the eyeballs when I go in here and push that button. That's the only way out. But yellow guy cannot do so yet. If there is, I don't see it. I'm going to restart. What I think could be done instead is not quite having green go to the button just yet, but doing so now. Yeah, just get to the button. But the green guy is on the wrong spot. So back it up. I should control this green guy. That's why. There we go. Now we end up on the right button. And that's all that needs to be done. What a sick level. Honestly, pretty good puzzles on top of everything. All I have to do is press the button. Oh, but there's transferable walls up here. I think this is playing on the idea of how you have to kind of shift around a bit. So if I want green to be on the button, it's gotta be here, which is as easy as this. Looks good to me. Yeah, it's two apart. This is a bigger one. I'm exiting from the bottom. And frankly, I don't even know where to begin. Somehow, some way, I've got to get a green dude to the bottom. And I think the only way to do so is get the bottom guy on the button. But getting the bottom guy on the button is not easy. What I might want to do is get on this button, okay? Transfer over here, get on this button. I've got the green guy here. But the green guy is not on the button, which is actually good. Because I want the button to be off because now the wall is blue. I can come down here, turn on the eyeballs. Um, I need green man. Oh... Oh, I need to have Green Man back up a step. Hold up. It's never that easy. So send it through. But then the walls... Oh, no. Look at this. My guy will never be directly in front of Blue. What a crazy paradox. So I need to get th this guy off of the button before doing so. But then it doesn't go across. Well... If I access from the top, then we could be talking. Because then I can pass it around like this. And would you look at this? I can give it to yellow, pass it through, open the door, get on the floor. Everybody walk the dinosaur. And it's a normal puzzle. We have returned to wall. Once again, I have become one with the wall. I see everything. I know what you've done tonight. You. I don't even want to possess him. I just want to observe. See if it moves on its own. Nope, he's dead. Oh, undead. It's kind of moonwalking everywhere. <laughs> uh, is that the game? Ah, oh, nice. <laughs> Honestly, a very short game, but I, I enjoyed it. I had a good time. It really scratches that primal itch that I know each and every one of us have. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a wonderful day and peace.